Australia. Let's explore Australia Immigration Investment Program. Australia has a democratic and politically stable government and is a country rich in natural resources and high standards of life, education and healthcare. The economy is the world's 13th largest and Australia has a business-friendly regulatory environment and sophisticated financial service sector. Australia is one of the wealthiest countries in the world and has an excellent reputation. It is a developed, multicultural country and offers its people an excellent quality of life, economic freedom, and good protection of civil liberties and political rights. The country is strategically positioned as a trade and investment base for international companies during business with Asia. The country has enjoyed strong economic growth over the last 25 years. Regarding residents by investment, we can mention the Business Innovation and Investment Program. Australia's Business Innovation and Investment Program has four streams, each with different requirements. We can mention one, the Business Innovation Stream or 188A Visa, two, the Investor Stream or 188B Visa, three, the Significant Investor Stream or 188C Visa, and last but not least, four, the Entrepreneur Streams, 188E Visa. Let's explore all of them. One, the Business Innovation Stream is for investors seeking to start and manage a new business or develop an existing business in Australia. Applicants must own at least one and up to two main businesses with ownership interest of at least 30% for a private company or at least 10% for a public company. The turnover requirement is at least 750,000 Australian dollars for any of two of the last four fiscal years. A net asset position including personal and business assets of at least 1,250,000 Australian dollars is also required. The business does not have to be innovative in nature. After holding the provisional 188A visa for two years, it is possible to apply for a permanent residency through the 888A visa pathway. If the requirements for the 888A are not met, the applicant can apply for a 188A extension stream visa for a further of two years. Two, the investor stream requires an investment of at least 2.5 million Australian dollars for at least three years in a structured framework with 20% of the funds in a venture capital and private growth equity fund, 30% in an emerging company share fund and a remaining 50% in a balancing fund. Under this stream, the funds must be sourced only from business or investment activities which the applicant has owned and managed. There is a points test for this visa. Applicants must have at least three years of experience managing one or more investments. It is possible to apply for the permanent 888B visa after holding the initial 188B visa for four years. Three, the significant investor stream requires an investment of 5 million Australian dollars for at least three years in the same structured frame above from the investor visa. The funds must be legally sourced or acquired, which can include inherited and gifted assets. This stream has no age restriction and also has the lowest physical residence requirements in Australia with a minimum stay of 120 days for the first three years. Permanent residency can be acquired through the 888C visa stream after four years. It is also possible to request an extension of the 188C if the requirements for the 888C are not met. This can be done twice for a further four years. Four, the entrepreneur stream is for people who are willing to undertake a complaining entrepreneurial activity that leads to either the commercialization of product or service or development of a business in Australia. This is a provisional visa, valid for the date it is granted and allows staying in Australia for up to five years. The visa is granted with multiple entries, allowing leaving and re-entering Australia as many times as needed 
during the validity period of the visa. While there is no citizenship by investment program, citizenship is attainable after four years of residence in Australia, with at least 12 months as an Australian permanent resident. Maintaining permanent residence. A permanent visa allows indefinite stay in Australia. However, a permanent visa will only allow travel in and out of Australia for a period of five years. After this time, if citizenship has not been attained, it will be necessary to apply for a 155 resident return visa in order to travel. Permanent residents must have spent two of the last five years in the country to be granted a resident return visa with a five-year travel facility or show ties to Australia for the grant of a resident return visa with a 12-month travel facility. How to apply for Australia business visa? All Australian business visa require nomination by state or territory government. Each state and territory also have additional requirements. It is best to check with each region for the specific criteria. Some require a higher investment than the required by the legislation for the grant of the visa. The time frame for processing differs based on visa type. How is the process? Applicants first submit an expression of interest through a governmental online system called Skill Select, nominating their state or territory of choice. The chosen state or territory then invites the applicant to apply for nomination. If it is successful, they will receive an invitation from the Department of Home Affairs to apply for their visa. Processing time is 9 to 24 months. They must prove that their money was earned legitimately. In addition to visa applicants' legislation, the Department of Home Affairs also has the power to cancel visas, conduct compliance or monitoring exercises, regulate the professional migration agent industry, and allow for the legal review of visa decisions. What about mobility with these programs? After around four years of residence, investors can obtain citizenship, which gets visa-free travel to more than 170 countries. Thanks for watching. To get to know a little bit more, please check our other videos.